Hey, what up everybody? Uh, Steven Breach, this will be an add-on, an update to the Eric Young and MVP uh, video that I made earlier in the week. Um, you know, it seems from listening to the Chris Jericho podcast, he had MVP on as guest this week. Uh, a follow-up on Bully Ray being on the show last week or maybe the week before. All of those were really excellent shows. Uh, Chris Jericho has a great podcast. I don't really like the intros that well. I do like it when he plays with the cowbell. Uh, him singing Mark Henry is always a treat or singing uh, sort of like those 70s and 80s themes and, and banging along on the cowbell is fun. But, uh, you know, him interviewing the janitor and uh, things like that around the uh, the show just... I, I just can't get down with that. It's just not for me. But he does have excellent interviews, asks excellent questions, goes with uh, the flow, and um, I, I'd highly recommend the show. And just I fast forward the first five ten minutes most of the time. Uh, but MVP on the show talked about his career, talked about the upcoming uh, Slammiversary show. You know why he came into uh, TNA, and uh, he said that uh, he's had the problem that he had with his knee that everybody's talked about on the internet. Uh, before he's had the same thing happen, he goes to the doctor, they tell him that the MRIs are going to be inconclusive, they gave him a muscle relaxer, um, and, and some stuff to deal with the pain, and he was out and doing what he does normally, and he says he's going to wrestle on the show, and uh, he's going to talk to creative, and they're going to work something out, and they're going to get the job done, he's supposed to be there, and um you know, that's, that's what wrestlers do. They show up to, and they play, especially when you're in the main event, uh, wrestling for the championship, you know, and the, and the whole pay-per-view is basically built around you. Uh, and basically the whole show is built around you right now with the whole MVP versus um, Dixie Carter storyline where they're sort of both bad guys battling against each other. Um, that is what that is. But uh, honestly, when it comes down to it, the one reason why I made this video was they added on a new match uh, to the card. It, it's going to be a six-man ladder match for the TNA X Division Championship, and it really caught my eye, my eyes because it's going to be your normal cast of people in there. It's got Sonata, Manic, Tiger Uno, and uh, they're adding Crazy Steve uh, from the Menagerie, the the group that came out with uh, with Nux, and uh, they're going to be in there battling it around. But uh, the Wolves are going to be in there, Eddie Oberds and Davey Richards. Uh, basically, when... Um, uh, they had the Von Erichs match named, and they said that their opponents were going to be uh, to be determined. Uh, you know, they were going to be like the secret mystery guys. I was like, well, they'll probably just put them in there with the Wolves. Uh, they'll give them a championship shot, and uh, you know, if they're going to keep them, maybe they'll have them win. Maybe they'll just have a great match, and they'll have the respect finish where they both shake hands at the end and say, you know, we'll see you down the road. And uh, maybe they'll be, you know guys that wrestle each other along the way but basically with this being an x-division championship match it, it means eddie edwards or davy richards could walk away uh, with the x-division championship and and with the upcoming destination x show it really grabs your attention you know with the uh, the x-division champion being able to cash in like the money in the bank and go after whoever the champion is uh right now at this point it would be easy for me to say mvp is going to beat eric young eric young hasn't been the best champion nobody's really getting behind it i know he has a show on the animal planet uh but uh it, it's just it's just not working. I love the guy. He was really nice the whole Bound for Glory weekend uh, to me and everybody else. And everybody knows him as a locker room leader who's been in TNA since almost since day one. But um, I don't know, man. MVP, to me, honestly, would be, be a better champion. I don't, I don't think it raises uh, TNA from the gutter that it's in right now. But uh, just to me, I mean, like you, you think about it, MVP, um, you know, although he did turn his back on the fans uh, storyline wise and uh, turn his back on the Wolves after being the guy who brought the Wolves in um, and basically just to turn on him, it didn't make any sense to me. I know that MVP hasn't gotten involved in Davey Richards at Eddie Edwards' bids, uh, business, but uh, easily Eddie Edwards or Davey Richards could win that X Division Championship, cash in the Destination X, and we could have a one on one match between, you know, the guy who brought them into the company and, um, you know, who they are. You know, honestly, I think that Edwards and Richards are baby faces and, and they're going to stay that way. Um, and, uh, but, but I mean, like, everything right now is sort of gray uh, with TNA. You know, MVP's biggest foe, even though he's wrestling against Eric Young, is Dixie Carter, uh, who is basically in a feud with Bully Ray. It's almost like it doesn't matter... If you're a traditional babyface, if you're a traditional heel, you're not getting along with somebody else. Almost like everybody is revolving around everybody else's storylines. And Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards 
more than likely to me, uh, besides for um, uh, Willow, Jeff Hardy, um, that that's you know the the person who's gonna bring people in to watch your company. That's your fresh meat. That's your um, your your the, the people you should be putting on your posters and saying that these are the stars of tomorrow, and and see them wrestle today. Eddie Edwards and Davy Richards, um, you know, since they've came on the wrestling scene and, and I've been around since 2009 and 2010, they've sort of been the guys to watch. I, I know that Davy Richards, when he held the championship in ROH, um, people sort of got sick of the you know the good guy champion always you know winning a match and giving the big speech at the end of the show, thinking the fans were coming out. It just sort of was just dry he didn't you know have the best opponents but he, he did blow people away with having great matches but you know if you don't really have storylines to go behind him it, it sort of dries it out but uh, to me honestly I, I i said that i was gonna watch this show i didn't do the math and, and know that it was on father's day so it, if i can watch the show um i will watch the show um but uh to me honestly my you know excitement level you know, for this was, you know, these are just some matches and one of them might jump up and, and steal the show and something might be good out of this. Honestly, it, it's now grown to now there's two matches that I really want to see. I want to see this X Division match to see if Edwards or Richards can win the uh, the X Division championship. And then I also want to see if, if that happens, if MVP can win, just so I can see this Edwards and MVP match or Richards versus MVP match. I think that's where you go from there. Some people will say that... Um, you don't want to break the Wolves up. They're, they're one of their best tag teams. But I think that, honestly, uh, these guys were single guys uh, in ROH. And uh, I think that's probably the best thing. You know, you can have a good tag division, but if you don't have a good main event, um, what's the point? Uh, so I say, you know, don't break them up. You can keep them together where they can still wrestle on TV shows and, and house shows and all that jazz as the Wolves. But um, the, the, the Edwards and, and Richards, the single guys, is probably the direction they need to go. So we'll just uh, add that on. Sunday's the big pay-per-view, Slammiversary. Don't miss out.